just hearing about it today. So I think intuitively, those of us in this room who have received 10,000 plus emails in, from our constituents, from um, our homes and across the state, they want us to get this right. And I'm not exactly sure that we can go and we can explain to them how we have misinformation about a very, very strong piece of information that was just given to us, and we're prepared to vote on an amendment without having full clarity on that today, when we could have had it Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, and we're expected to vote on this today. Out of fairness to our constituents, and for the integrity of this body, I implore you to put a green vote on that board. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to explain my green vote. Um, this just came to the committees and it was not a unanimous vote. Uh, it was a split vote. I would like to get the answer to the question first on whether we need to do this. Secondly, we just passed a bill last week that is opposed to federal law that has to do with medical marijuana. This body is very very eager to pass something that totally conflicts with federal law when it comes to medical marijuana. This comes to our military, our young men and women who go to war for us. They come home and now can't buy a firearm. I say let's, let's look at it that this is very serious. Um, and it's equally as serious as many people here seem to think about medical marijuana and overriding those rules very simply and ignoring federal law. So let's first of all get the answer to the question and then after we have a thorough answer, let's decide if this is important enough as medical marijuana is to people in their jurisdictions. I do believe that it is for our young people. I urge a green vote so we can make a clear and, and honest decision on what the federal law says. This just came to us a few minutes ago. It was very unclear. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I would request that we, we explain